I think this is yours. Uh, and is this yours, honey? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if uh, Rajan. Roger. Roger. See, you're correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little talk before. Come on. Okay. Rajan has um, wrote his letter to City Council honoring. Say that again. Aung San Suu Kyi. Okay, thank you. And he's from from Chaparral. His teacher is Miss Wee. You. Miss Wee. Okay, Miss Wee. Okay. <laughs> Dear Claremont City Council, I'd like to tell you about Aung San Suu Kyi, who I think is an amazing person. She was born on June 19th in Rangoon, British Burma. She was under house arrest for 20, almost 20 years for various reasons throughout her life, but the main one was that she wanted Burma to have self-democracy and freedom. The military leaders of Burma refused to let their people choose their own leaders, and they wanted to selfishly control Burma by their own rules. Even though her political party won 59% of the votes, the military refused, military leaders refused to let self-democracy take place, and they put Aung San Suu Kyi under house arrest. She was offered freedom if she left the country, but Aung San Suu Kyi knew that if she left, she wouldn't be able to return to Burma, so she stayed to fight for freedom and to help her people. She's inspired by Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence and by Buddhist concepts. She won the Nobel Peace Prize for her work in 1991. She used the prize money to establish a health and education trust for the Burmese people. It would have been easy for Aung San Suu Kyi to leave Burma and forget about his troubles. Instead, she chose to fight for Burma's people. She's incredibly brave and courageous. She cared for other people even more than herself. Her husband wanted to see her because he was dying of cancer. But the military leaders refused to let him and instead urged Aung San Suu Kyi to go visit him. She still refused, knowing that if she went, she wouldn't be able to return. Aung San Suu I admire Aung San Suu Kyi because she, because she is brave. She has patience and is, she is committed to her goal. I think she is a wonderful and very special person most people in her situation who would have given up and left their country. She influences me by showing that you shouldn't give up and that you should try your best even if it takes a very long time. In fifth grade, I have many things that can be very challenging. For example, I play the piano and it can be very hard sometimes. I compete and play in recitals and I sometimes get nervous, but I know I shouldn't give up because it is important to be committed to your goals. Another difficulty in my life is baseball. I struggle at times when I try to hit the ball, but I know I should have patience. Have patience. Aung San Suu Kyi teaches us to be, to not give up, be patient, and to be brave. She teaches us to believe in ourselves and in what, and in what we think is right. If more people were like Aung San Suu Kyi, I think the world would be a better and nonviolent place because people wouldn't be scared to stand up and express their ideas. If, in countries like Egypt, Libya, and Syria, there is a lot of turmoil because people want to be able to select their own leaders. These people want self-democracy and they want to be able to control their own futures. Aung San Suu Kyi teaches us to keep fighting for our goals but to do it in a non-violent and committed way. If each of us stood up to our rights for our rights peacefully, the world, the world would be a better and safer place to live in.